All right, Clear Vision Wednesday. It's Clear Vision Wednesday time. I am Claudia Mühlenweg, uh, creator of the Natural Clear Vision Method and Bates Method teacher. And today is uh, something I really am passionate about is something called palming. A big, big piece of the Bates Method is rest for your eyes. And I've created so many different palming meditations over the course for my students in my natural clear vision program. And today I wanted to do one that is for cataracts, but it doesn't mean if you don't have a cataract, doesn't mean that this meditation is not useful for you. And I will explain briefly. So palming is, well, if you don't know what palming is, it's basically you close your eyes and then you can rub your hands together. So to create some warmth and some energy, and then you cup your hands and you place them over the closed eyes. And key here is that you're not pressing on your eyeball, you're resting the bony part of your, the heels of your hands on the bony part of your eye socket. And it's really helpful to use some props. So I have something called a palming stick. If you're interested in this device, a friend of mine in England makes them, but they're really nice because you can basically put them on your chair and then you can rest your elbows anywhere. Or another thing, and this is what, if you're seated, obviously, right? Another thing is, Nice as a bolster that you can put on your knees or a table or something like that. However, you can do palming, laying down. The key is that you're super, super comfortable. That's the most important part. And that you have some way to support your elbows because otherwise your shoulders will get tired. And another thing I recommend everybody take your glasses off. You don't need to see anything. It's going to be a guided meditation and no need to look at the screen. So. Take your glasses off. And what else do I wanna say? This meditation is going to be useful even if you don't have a cataract. It's kind of a journey through the eyes and it's deeply relaxing. So even if you are, if you have no cataract or no eye disease, but I feel like it's a really good way to connect with our eyes, imagine our eyes to be in super optimal health. That's really what it's about. And we will go into the lens. And so if you have cataracts, um, one, oh yeah, one more thing. If you have cataracts and you know where your cataract is located on your lens, like down and behind, that can be helpful for the visualization. But if you don't know that, that's okay. And if again, if you don't have cataracts, that's all okay. So no, none of these things are necessary to benefit from this meditation and feel more relaxed and refreshed in your eyes with your vision more clear. So I will begin the official meditation. And since I want to extract the audio, um, the audio take, I want to, I will do a little introduction. So not that you're wondering. All right. And it's about 15, 20 minutes. I haven't written a script or anything. So I don't know exactly how long we're going to go, but roughly uh, 15, 20 minutes. So it's going to be a little bit longer meditation or palming that you might have been doing so far. All right. So Welcome to this palming meditation. My name is Claudia Mühlenweg. I am a Bates Method teacher and creator of the Naturally Clear Vision Method. And for those of you that don't know what palming is, it's a rest for your eyes that you can do in any comfortable position. You can lay down, you can be seated, you can be crouched against the wall, whatever is super, super comfortable for you. And you might want to put some kind of support under your elbows, maybe a cushion. If you're laying down, it's really helpful to have a pillow between your chest and your upper arms so that you can deeply, deeply relax. And why this meditation is for cataracts, this is a good relaxing meditation for anyone, especially if you have older eyes. But even if you have young eyes, it's always good to imagine your body and your eyes in optimal health and being 100% relaxed. So find your position, whatever that may be. If you are seated, have your feet flat on the ground, legs parallel to each other. If you're on your back, you might wanna bend your knees or have them draped over a bolster and really close, begin to close your eyes. If you want to rub your hands together, you can rub your hands together to create some heat and then place your cupped hands over your closed eyes, relaxing your shoulders, using that support so that you don't have to use any effort 
to keep your hands over your eyes. Begin by taking a few deep breaths. And exhale. You can imagine being at the ocean and every inhale is like a wave coming up to shore with a little pause at the top and every exhale is the wave going back into the ocean. And then simply wait for the next wave to come, for your next inhale to come. No need to change anything. Each breath will just be a little bit different than the one before and the one coming after. Feel your body on the floor or your seat on the chair, getting heavier and heavier as you get more and more grounded. Feel your feet relax, all 10 toes relaxing. Your lower legs completely relaxing. Your upper legs, your seat, your hips, your abdomen, your chest, the lower back, the middle back, the upper back, the shoulders, the right arm, the right hand, the little finger of the right hand, the ring finger, the middle finger, the index finger and the thumb, the left arm, the left hand, the left little pinky, the left ring finger, the left middle finger, index finger and thumb, the back of your neck, the back of your head, the forehead, the eyebrows, the cheeks, the nose, the mouth, the jaw, everything relaxing, the left ear, the right ear, Now connect with your inner sense. It's called interoception. Feel your heartbeat, your pulse, the blood moving inside your body, the lymph moving inside your body. Drop your attention down below the mind as you are deeply relaxing and listening to my voice. Release the spot between the eyebrows, the left eyebrow, the right eyebrow, The left eyelid softens. It's covering your eye like a warm, soft and cozy blanket. The right eyelid softens. The left eyeball gets heavy 
and deeply relaxes as if it's swimming in a warm pool. The right eyeball gets heavy and deeply relaxes as if it's swimming in another warm, cozy pool. All six eye muscles around the left eyeball deeply relax. The superior oblique relaxes. Superior rectites, the upper muscle, relaxes. The inner rectile muscle relaxes. The lower, the inferior, and the outer left eye muscle relaxes. The right eye muscles relax. The upper oblique, the upper recti, the inner, the lower oblique, and the lower recti muscle, and the outer recti muscle, all six eye muscles relax in each eye. It takes no effort to hold and move the eyeball. All these muscles can relax. Now under the eyelid is the cornea. The cornea is clear. It's the window into your eye and it's lubricated and nourished by your tear film in the front and the aqueous humor in the back. There's always plenty of moisture on your cornea without you doing anything. The fluids keep your cornea clear and soft. It's always protected. Behind the cornea is the iris in a beautiful color that gives your eyes the color that other people can see. And right behind there is the lens. as clear as a perfectly freshly cleaned window. The lens is held in place by the circular celery muscle, like springs on a rebounder. And the ciliary muscle is strong and flexible and can easily flatten and flex the lens and move it into position for any distance that you want to see it clearly. There's no effort. The lens is rinsed and washed by the aqueous humor and that is produced by the ciliary body. So in the front, the lens has its own fluid that is always cleaning. And in the back, the lens is supported by the thicker gel-like and super clear vitreous humor that holds your eyeball in shape. So the lens doesn't need to make any effort to move. The lens and the iris and the back of your cornea are always cleaned by the aqueous humor, like a fluid, like water. And any dirt drains out of the eyes through the trabecular meshwork. So your eyes are always rinsed with clear, watery fluid and all the dirt and debris that might get in there is drained 
as you move your eyes effortlessly during the day, as you shift your focus near and far, and you're moving your attention to different places with ease and joy, it drains the fluids and it keeps everything healthy and happy. Now, notice if you feel there's any dirt or cloudiness somewhere on your lens. Maybe the whole lens is a little bit like a dirty window and you're like, I haven't cleaned this window in a long time. I've kind of forgotten about this window. Now imagine you're using this clean, fresh, watery fluid to really clean your lens, the front and the back. It doesn't take any effort. There is someone like a window cleaner doing all this for you. You have to make no effort. All you have to do is imagine the lens being cleaned. And maybe when the sun comes out, you notice there's still some spots, like the window cleaner wasn't really doing a great job. So you do it again, you have them do it again. A few rounds, washing, cleaning, drying it off until your lens is as sparkly clean as a glass in a great dishwasher. No dust, no dirt, no cloudiness. All the dirt gets drained out through the trabecular meshwork out of your eyes. It's a little circle of health for your eyes. Nature has built this amazing system to keep our eyes lubricated and clean without us doing anything. Only relaxation. Our eyes are 90%, 99% water, drinking clean water, relaxing, imagining absolute clarity, being joyful and curious about what our eyes see, what we want to see. So conclude the cleaning, maybe give it one last little polish. And then notice how moist and lubricated your eyes feel behind your hands. How fresh and cozy and warm this cocoon feels how relaxed your eyes feel. Keep your hands covering your eyes if that feels good. And notice things around you. This is called exteroception. Notice sounds. Notice how there's no effort. All you have to do is pay attention. Maybe some sounds are louder. Maybe some sounds are further away and others are closer to you. There's a 3D tapestry of sound around you. Maybe there's some sound inside your body. 
What about touched? Can you feel something? Maybe the air against your skin or parts of your body on the floor. Maybe you can smell something. Or taste something. It's all effortless. All you have to do is pay attention and be interested. And if you haven't done so, keep your eyes closed and slowly, slowly move the hands away from your eyes. In slow motion, keep your eyes closed for as long as it takes to get used to the light. This can take a minute or longer. Give yourself as much time as you need. And when you're ready, and only when you're ready, you open your eyes with five quick butterfly blinks, five gentle squeezes, and then you're back. And I hope that this was a helpful way to relax your eyes and start the day or drift into sleep if you're doing this in the evening. Enjoy. Okay, so that concluded our meditation. And I'm looking, I don't see any comments on YouTube today. And if you have questions, you can comment underneath this video if you watch the replay and I will respond. If you want to know where to get the palming sticks, let me know, I will give you the contact information. My friend Steven makes them, he is in the UK. And if you have any other questions, post on the YouTube underneath and I will make sure to respond and answer your questions. And I haven't timed the meditation, but I hope this was helpful. Sometimes we want to do things quickly. And I hope you join me next Wednesday. I have a super special guest next Wednesday, my friend and colleague. It's, she's, an, she's an ophthalmologist, Dr. Radka Toms. And um, her talk will be called, and I'm so excited, Confessions of an Eye Doctor. So you don't want to miss that one. So I see you and subscribe to my channel that you get notified. Uh, click the little bell icon so that you see when I'm going live. But every Wednesday at noon Pacific, I'm here going live, either myself or with a guest. And um, yeah, I would love for you to subscribe to my channel and share, share this with other people if you find this helpful. All right, I will end the YouTube now because I don't see any comments. So goodbye, YouTube, and see you next Wednesday.